I got a big old container here. Old water, these, I actually use, um, well, we used to use the old glass ones. That's supposed to be a no-no now, but this is a plastic uh, water cooler bottle. And I'm gonna put in there about 25 mils of rubbing alcohol, just 70%, like you get at the store, okay? And I usually put a stopper in there, but you really don't need that. What I'm doing right now is just kind of moving around in there, letting that rubbing alcohol spread out. That's gonna work. Rubbing alcohol is pretty volatile, so it's filling up this container with some alcohol vapors. And that's probably good enough. I have here something that lets me light that from a safe distance, a coat hanger with a wood splint wrapped on the end there. Get a lot of use out of these coat hangers and soda bottles and the like. So we got a combustible, volatile substance in there, but uh, let's just see how this goes here. That's good. Okay. Okay, now it went out and that happens. And now I'm putting my hand over it. And when I do this with a glass bottle, it doesn't cave in like that. But this is starting to cave in. What I can do with a glass bottle is I can then take my hand off and get this Russian of air and then get sometimes a second burn. So I'm going to see if I can't do that. I'm going to let some air rush in here. Yeah. It was caving in. I didn't want to compromise the, the bottle, but we'll see. So sometimes you get a nice second burn out of this. Um, let's hit the lights here um, completely and we'll see. Maybe this will work, maybe not. A little bit. It's different every time you do this. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Good. Can I get even more out of there? Because it seemed like there might be some more in there. Nope, okay. So, whoosh bottle. Different every time I do it. I've never done it twice and it comes out the same way. Especially because I'm not too familiar with using this and now it's even warmer. I could try it a third time but just Expect the unexpected. <laughs> During your first period class, a lesson will work perfectly. During your second period class, the exact same lesson will fail miserably. Get used to it. <laughs> There's no advice I can give you on that. You know that, just, it happens. And this is my all-time favorite quote, and you've got to share this with your students. Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Who said that? Bill Gates, okay? Success is a lousy teacher, but we try to set up all our lesson plans, we try to set up all our labs, all our demonstrations to be flawless, right? But success is a lousy teacher. Far better from them to learn from mistakes. Okay, so.